<coughs> Hello, uh, grade 7. Uh, good morning. Okay. So, gaya nga nung nabanggit ko sa inyo kanina, uh, minabuti ko na gawin video itong ating lesson. It's just because uh, hindi tayo makakapunta sa court para maipakita sa inyo ng actual yung ating lesson. Kasi ito ay may kinalaman sa uh, dual sports. Okay? So, again, kung meron naman kayong question, nasa Google Meet pa rin naman tayo, uh, mag-chat na lang kayo doon sa ating chat box. No? At uh, si Sir Pogi ang bahalang uh, tumugon sa inyong mga katanungan. Okay? So, let's start. Ang topic natin ngayon sa... PE ay dual sports. Basically, na-discuss ko na ito ng bahagya sa inyo. Uh, and today's lesson will go deeper. No? And uh, uh, hanggat maaari, makapagbigay ako ng mga iba't ibang uri ng mga sports. Pero uh, baka hindi kaya ni ng oras, so mag-focus lang muna ako sa isang sport. No? So again, dual sports tayo. Ang dual sports ay uh, basically uh, nilalaro siya ng dalawang peers. Okay? So, napakadali naman ng intindihin siguro niyan. Dual sports are played by two competing peers. Dual. Okay? Next, isa sa mga example natin ng dual sport, though, pwede rin naman siyang single eh. Pero, uh, pwede rin naman siyang doubles. So, ang example natin na nasa book din ay itong badminton. Okay? So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang uh, badminton. Sino na ba sa inyo ang nakapaglaro ng badminton? Meron na ba? Yung bang uh, kapag kakarises, eh, may dadalang rakit at nagpapapalo ng shuttlecock. Diba? Ako noon, eh, naalala ko, nung bata kami, uh, madalas akong uh, makapag makapagpalipad ng shuttlecock sa bubong sa lakas kong uh, sa lakas kong uh, pumalo ng raketa ay ng ng uh, nga, sa lakas kong pumalo ng raketa eh hindi naman ako marunong wala naman akong proper training yan wala din naman nagturo sa akin noon sa school eh kung ano na lang basta tamaan mo yung shuttlecock uh, okay na yun kaya madalas mupunta sa bubong no Eh, ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung mga proper, okay? History niya, uh, do's and don'ts, ano yung mga dapat gawin dyan sa badminton para maging magaling ka, okay? Uh, maganda rin itong laro sa bahay. Alam nyo, kapag meron kayong malaking bakuran or sa tapat ng bahay nyo, pag afternoon, kung wala naman ganong tao dyan, eh, pwede kayong makapagpapawis nyan, di ba? Pwede kayong makapaglaro-laro nyan. So, let's start. Badminton, pag-uusapan natin yung introduction niya. Yung history, then yung equipment, rules of the game, ano yung mga do's and don'ts dyan. Equipment, yung gamit, no? saan nagmula ang badminton. Uh, badminton court, okay? grip, yung tamang pag-handle ng raketa. Skills and techniques, okay? Pag-uusapan natin niya, ano pinagkaiba niyang skills, ano pinagkaiba ng techniques. Pero itong dalawang bagay na ito ay uh, mahalagang factors sa paglalaro ng badminton nang sa ganun manalo ka sa laro. Okay? Shots. Okay? Then, uh, ito, hindi ko, hindi ko lang alam kung madidiscuss ko pa ito. Pero basically, ito yan. Okay? Again, introduction tayo, history, equipment, rules of the game, badminton court, grips, skills and techniques, then shot. So, uh, ang objective natin ngayong araw na to dapat uh, matutunan nyo uh, yung basic, no? Yung kung ano ang badminton at matutunan nyo yung basic skills ng badminton. At sana uh, matuturin kayo kung paano talaga maglaro ng badminton ng tama. Okay? So, kaya tayo nag-record ngayon ay para may pakita ko sa inyo iba't ibang mga videos kasi ito lang yung way para may pakita ko sa inyo eh kasi ala na namang video ko pa yung sarili ko at magpapapalo ako ng raketa di ba so mas ideal na siguro magpakita ako ng video kaya mas minabuti ko today na magkaroon tayo ng recording so let's start badminton sabi dito 
Badminton is a racket sport. Okay, so point number one. Ang badminton, ginagamitan siya ng raketa. Okay? Played by either two opposing players. Sabihin, singles. Okay, dalawa lang kayo. Okay, parang ganito yan. Halimbawa, uh, ayan yung court. O, oh, dalawa lang kayo. Okay? Diyan siya. Andito ako. Lalaro tayo. Parang ganyan. Next. Or two opposing pairs. O, oh, dalawa. Diba? Ganun lang naman siya kadali. Who take positions on opposite side, uh, on opposite halves of the rectangular court that is divided by net. So, ito yung ibig kong sabihin niya. Ano? Ito yung ibig sabihin yung uh, who take positions on opposite halves halves of a rectangular court that is divided by a net. So, hahatiin yung court na yan, nahati siya sa pamagitan nga nung net. Okay? So, magkabila sila. Dito yung uh, pairs, ito yung pair, ito yung sumunod na pairs. No? Or kung singles naman kayo, ay uh, ganun din naman yun. Di ba? Dito isa, nandito yung isa. Okay? So, nahati lang sila nung net. Next, Players score, players score points by striking a shuttlecock with their racket. Okay? So, halimbawa na, mayroong raketa, no? Ayan yung raketa niya. Okay? Ito yung raketa naman nung isa. O, ayan. Ngayon, para daw makascore. Uh, sabi dito, players score points by striking. Gagamitin niyo yung raketa na ito. Hindi, gawin natin itim. Ayan. Ngayon, at ito yung player. Ayan. Okay, so gagamitin niya itong raketa daw na to to strike the shuttlecock. Okay, so papaluin niya yun, i-smash niya. At with their racket so that it passes over the net and lands in their opponent's half of the court. So ang objective niya, para makascore ka daw, ayusin nga natin to. Para makascore ka, ito yung net mo. Ah, uh, ito yung player. Eh, ibay natin yung raketa. Iyon. Kailangan mapapaluin mo yung, yung shuttlecock na yan. Ito yung shuttlecock. Papunta dito. Pag ito, tumama na rito, score na yun. Gets nyo? Ganun lang siya kadali. Next. Each side may only strike the shuttlecock once before it passes over the net. A rally ends once the shuttlecock has struck on the floor. So, ibig sabihin, magpap- yung, uh, yung uh, laro ng badminton ay meron siyang tinatawag din na rally. Alam, siguro, alam ko naman na meron na idea regarding dito, di ba? Uh, elaborate lang natin. Okay? So, magkakaroon ng, ano yan, ng rally, di ba? Pupunta dito, pupunta doon, pupunta dito, pupunta doon. Matatapos lang yan, once na yung shuttlecock mo ay lumapag na sa, ay, pangit. Ando natin. Pag lumapag na siya sa lupa. Okay. Or dun sa kabilang court ng kalaban mo. Okay. So, yun ang badminton. Basic na definition natin dyan. History. Anong history ng badminton? Ha, a form of sport played in Asian Greece and Egypt. So, sa bansang ito class, dito daw, okay, tandaan nyo yan ha. Sa bansang yan, dyan, nagumpisa yung laro ng badminton. Okay? Sa Greece and Egypt. The beginnings of badminton can be traced to mid-18th century British India. Okay? Nung 18th century yan, most probably, dun siya nagumpisa. Yung mga panahon na yan. Initially, a balls of wool referred as ball badminton. But, ultimately, the shuttlecock stuck. So, nung una daw, uh, alam itong balls of wool, yung balls of wool class, ito yung, uh, uh, paano ba? Mayroon ba ako dito niyan? Yan, ito class. Ito yung balls of wool. Dati, ganyan yung kanilang uh, bola sa badminton. Okay? Then, uh, napalitan na nung, ito, itong drawing na to, napalitan na niyan. The International Badminton Federation or IBF nasa ngayon, mas kilala na siya sa Badminton World Federation or BWF, was established in 1934. Uh, was first contested as an official Olympic sports at the 1992. 
Pero ito class yung uh, image nung unang panahon na uh, naglalaro ng badminton sa Greece, Egypt, and uh, sa British India. Okay? So, meron tayong hinandang video dyan. Okay? History. Ayan. Where it became popular. Hence, Oops. Badminton is a very popular sport. According to a survey, badminton ranks the second most played sports in the world, with 220 million people playing around the world. Just behind football. Badminton is the fastest racket sport in the world. The fastest smash recorded was more than 400 km per hour in a real match, and almost 500 km per hour in a racket test. Compared to only 253 km per hour for a world record tennis serve. But do you know the origin of this sport? Badminton is played with a racket and a shuttlecock in a court with a net. The shuttlecock was actually originated from China, probably more than 2000 years ago. But it is not exactly the shuttlecock like we see them playing now. It is made of feathers, tied to a rubber or plastic base. However, it was not played using a racket. Instead, they use their foot or other body part except their hands to hit the shuttlecock. The game was called TGNZ. So, nagets niyo ba yung class? Nung una daw, uh, hindi naman talaga raketa yung ginagamit, no? So, body parts kagaya nito. At hindi talaga shuttle cock yung una nila. Uh, yan, no? Nakikita niyo ba yung class? Yan yung una. Ito, itong mayroong pink, yellow, blue. Yan yung unang ginagamit nila. Okay, then sumunod, uh, hindi raketa kundi body parts kagaya nito. In the 1600, battledoor and shuttlecock was known to be played. It was an upper-class pastime in England, and many European countries. Battledoor and shuttlecock was simply two people hitting a shuttlecock backwards and forwards with a simple bat as many times as they could without allowing it to hit the ground. Modern badminton can be traced to mid-19th century British India. It was created by British military officers stationed there. A net was added to the traditional English game of battledoor and shuttlecock, as it was popular in the British garrison town of Pune, the game came to be known as Pune or Pune. Initially, woolen balls were preferred by the upper classes in windy or wet conditions, but ultimately shuttlecocks took over the role of a ball. This game was then taken by retired officers who got back to England. It was introduced as a game for the guests of the Duke of Beaufort at his stately home badminton in Gloucestershire, England, where it became popular. Hence, the origin of the name badminton. In March 1898, Mr. Percy Buckley, secretary of the Guilford Badminton Club, organized the first ever open badminton doubles tournament at the Guilford Drill Hall. And the first Hall England Championships were held the following year, in 1899. The International Badminton Federation was formed in 1934 with nine founder members. England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Denmark, Holland, Canada, New Zealand, and France. India joined as an affiliate in 1936. The first major IBF tournament was the Thomas Cup in 1948, which Malay won. Since then, the number of world events has increased with the addition of the Uber Cup, World Championships, Suderman Cup, World Junior Championships, and the World Tour Finals. Badminton is a relatively new Olympic sport. It was a demonstration sport at the 1972 Munich Olympics. Badminton eventually became an Olympic sport in Barcelona in 1992. Only the singles and doubles were introduced for the first time in the Olympic Games. Mixed doubles was included in the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. And badminton is the only sport that has mixed doubles event in the Olympics. Only five countries have won gold medals at the Olympics since badminton was introduced in 1992. They are China, Indonesia, Korea, England, and Denmark. Ayan, okay? So, yun yung history ng 
uh, badminton. Ano. Sana nakatulong yan sa inyo. Next, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon yung badminton equipment. Okay? So, basically, ito lang naman yan. Eh, no? Raketa, shuttlecock, sapatos, yung, uh, uh, ka, ito yung kabita ng net. Uh, ito, yan, uh, dyan kinakabit yung net. Then, uh, alam ko sa grip to eh, no? Sa, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Ah, hindi, ito yung net. Net ito. Ito naman yung sa grip. Then, shuttle cap. Okay? So, ito dito yan, no? Dito yung kinakabit yan. Ito, ito yan. Ito naman net, dito yan. Okay. Equipment. Number one is the, uh, raketa. O yun, the racket. Are lightweight or 70 to 95 grams not including grip or strings okay so ibig sabihin doon yung 70 to 95 grams hindi daw including hindi daw included doon yung ano yung ito tong uh, yung handle na yan hindi kasama yung yung pinambalot diyan yung pinambalot diyan hindi yun kasama pati yung pati yung strings na kinakabit doon sa shuttle, doon sa may ra raketa mo, yung strings na yan, hindi yung kasama sa uh, bigat niya. Sa 70 to 95 grams. They are composed of many different materials. Carbon, fiber, composite, aluminum, wood. So, sa ngayon, ang madalas na ginagamit itong carbon fiber. no Kasi, ito yung mas, uh, mas magaan. Matibay siya, pero mas magaan. Parang, uh, basta ang gaan yan eh. Next, meron din namang kahoy. Pero, uh, ang alam ko, ang kahoy ay inilalagay na lang sa grip. No? Pero, yung syempre, yung kabitan ng ano, yung kabitan yan, hindi pa ako nakakita klas ng kahoy eh, na kabitan ng string. Alam mo, kadalasan kasi yan, yung kahoy na yan ay nandun sa may grip, sa hawakan, sa handle. Next, strings. The optimum tension for power depends on the player. String tension is normally in the range of 80 uh, recreational players to 160N professionals. Okay. Next, the grip. The choice of grip allows a player to increase the thickness of his racket handle and choose a comfortable surface to hold. Uh, malaking factor kasi class yung grip, no? Kasi, uh, Kapag kaka hindi maayos yung yung handle ng rake, ng raketa mo, pwede yan dumulas. O halimbawa kung pawisin yung kamay mo, ang ginamit mo ay rubber. So baka mas madulas, so baka mas maganda sa kung cotton ba yung yung hand, yung sa grip mo. So ganun yon. Kaya the choice of grip allows a player to increase the thickness of his racket handle and choose a comfortable surface to hold. There are two main types of grip: replacement grips and over grips. Okay? Next Shuttlecock. A shuttlecock or the shuttle birdie, kasi ano yun eh, parang may feather ng uh, uh, ibon, is a high drag projectile with an open conical shape. The cone is formed from 16 overlapping feathers embedded into a round neck cork base. The cork is over, uh, covered with, uh, with thin leather or synthetic material. Synthetic shuttles or nylon. Ito yung plastic. Ito yun, ito yung glass, oh. Nakikita niyo yan? Yan yun. Often used by recreational players to reduce their cost as feathered shuttles break easily. So, uh, meron siyang dalawang uri. No? Yung una yung may feather, yung isa yung synthetic o yung plastic. Kasi, uh, bakit nagkakaroon na ito? Ito synthetic ito eh. Yung may pula, yung pula yung dulo na magaan. Na, nakatry, nakapag-try na ba kayo yan, class? Kaya meron ganun uh, for recreational purposes. Okay? Halimbawa, nasa magka magkalaro lang kayo ng kapitbahay mo, ng kaklasmate mo, gusto nyo lang magpapawis. Gusto nyo lang magpaluan uh, ng raket. <laughs> Hindi, di naman, joke lang. Gusto nyo nga uh, gumamit ng raketa. So, mas matipit daw gamitin itong synthetic kasi hindi siya madaling masira. Unlike doon sa shuttlecock, yung feather, uh, ang, ang, na, ang material sa man ay feather, Mas madali kasi siya mag-break. So, most probably, ginagamit yan kapag mga competition na, no? Pero kung may budget naman kayo, kung medyo big time naman, eh, alos na, wala namang problema doon, ano? So, pero kaya lang, medyo mahal yan. Lalo kung papupuntahin mo lang sa bubong, 
eh mag synthetic na lang para kahit mga isandaang ano, isandaang synthetic shuttle ka kang papuntay mo, wala problema, mura lang naman kasi yan. Okay? So again, equipment, basic lang naman to, rockets, strings, grip, shuttle cock. Then ito yung shoes. The proper bag bin ng shoes will have a uh, will have a little uh, have a little lateral support and a very thin sole, lower a person's center of gravity and therefore result in fewer injuries. So napakahalaga class na kapag naglalaro tayo ng any sport. Okay? Keso table tennis 'yan o uh, badminton man 'yan, napakahalaga class na Nakapakahalaga class na ano na tayo ay uh, nakasuot ng sapatos dahil uh, una yung gravity ng katawan natin ay mas natutulungan na mabalanse eh, kapag tayo ay nakasapatos unlike kapag nakapaa or nakachinelas ka lang halimbawa naiiwas ka sa tapilok Okay? Tapos, mas, uh, syempre, kapag ka ka nakachinelas ka o nakatapak ka, magkakapaltos yung paa mo. So, hindi siya healthy, lalo sa isang, lalo sa isang player, di ba? So, mas maganda kapag tayo talaga ay nakasapatos. Ito yung uh, proper way, no? Ng paglalaro ng badminton, dapat naka-proper attire ka. Okay? Syempre, hindi lang yan. Yung damit mo, dapat uh, dry yung... Uh, dry fit ba ang tawag doon yung madaling matuyo tapos uh, syempre uh, dapat hindi masikip na masikip naman sa iyo hindi yung para kang suman dapat komportable ka okay pero uh, hin- wala ka namang nakita class na nag tournament ng nakachinelas di ba kasi protocol yan eh sa sport eh any sports liba na lang sa mga martial arts pero like MMA di ba pero boxing naka shoes Uh, so, more wrestling, hindi. Tapos yung MMA. Pero most probably, halos lahat talaga ay naka-shoes. Okay? Ang dahilan, dahil matutulungan ka nito, sabi dito, uh, so, lateral support, okay? Very thin, so lower a person's center of gravity and therefore result in fewer injuries. Okay? Mas nakakatulong siya para hindi ka ma-accidente at hindi ka ma-balian, matapilok or what. Score rules. Each game is played to 21 points. Okay? A match is the best of three games. Okay? So, mayroon tatlong may tatlong sets 'yan, ano? Set 1, 21 points, set 2, 21, set 3, 21. Excuse me. At the start of the rally, the server and receiver stand in diagonal opposite service courts. Okay, at the start of the rally, the server and the receiver stands in diagonally opposite service court. So, paano anong ibig sabihin yan? So, drawing tayo ulit. Okay, ito halimbawa yung court. Okay, ito yung uh, net. So, ito yung server. Gawin natin green. Ito yung server. Server 1. Dito naman si server 2. Ay, and, uh, server 2. Ito yung naman yung receiver. Nandito siya sa kabila. So, magkatapat ba sila? Hindi. Kasi yung isa nandito, yung isa naman nandito. Magkaan sila. Gets nyo yun? Okay. When the serving side loses a rally. Ito, when the serving side loses the rally, the service immediately pass to their opponent. The second serve. Double. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito, ay uh, kunwari nag-rally sila natalo itong nag, nag-serves na to itong nag-serve na to automatic itong kabila naman yung magsaserve okay para mas madaling siyang maintindihan in singles uh, in singles the server stands in the right service court when their score is even so halimbawa nasa kanan ka halimbawa ito yung court no ang kanan dito ay ito okay so kapag kaka even okay pag tabla. Okay? So, dapat siya daw ay nasa right. Okay? Ngayon, uh, sabi dito, in singles, the server stands in their right service court when their score is even. Okay? And, and her or his ser- left service court when his or her score is odd. Kung lamang naman, nandun daw siya sa left. 
Sana hindi ako nagkakamali dyan. Next. Again na sabi dito, uh, pag daw po even, uh, kapag kakatabla, so da, nasa right siya. Kapag daw nasa left, pag daw uh, lamang naman yung lamang, ganun, dito siya sa left. Okay. Uh, next, in doubles, if the serving side wins a rally, the same player continues to serve. Bawa, ito yung nag-serve. Nag-rally sila. Tapos, uh, nanalo pa rin siya. Napapunta niya dito yung shuttlecock. Siya pa rin yung magsaserve. Okay? Halos sa lahat naman sa volleyball, sa table tennis. Uh, ganun naman yun eh. Uh, next, but he or she changes service court. So, uh, tawag dito. In the boss, if the serving side wins a rally, the same player continues to serve. But he or she changes service court so that he or she serves to a different opponent each time. Kung ba, uh, pag doubles, no, dalawa silang magkakampi. No? Kapag, uh, kapag kaka mag, nanalo sila sa, sa rally na to class, kapag nanalo sila sa rally na yan, ang mangyayari, ito pa rin yung magsaservice, yung magsaserve, brother. Kaya lang, lilipat siya ng pwesto o pwede magpapalit naman sila. Nang sa ganon, ang purpose para ibang tao naman ang makareceive nung kanyang service. Okay? Next, if the opponents win the rally and their new score is even. Okay? Halimbawa, nanalo na, ito naman ang nanalo, itong sa kabila naman na to, itong kabila naman. Uh, sabi dito, if the opponents win the rally and their new score is even, tabla, the player in the right service court serve. Okay? Doon pala ma-determine kung sino yung magsaserve. Halimbawa, tabla sila. O ang magsaserve yung, sabi dito, uh, nasa right yung nasa kanan. Pero, pag ah, lamang, it's either or, kung lamang yung kabila, o lamang naman sila, yung left service. O yung nasa left ang magsaserve. Next, the player service scores are determined by their position at the start of the previous rally, not by where they were standing at the end of the rally. Okay, so, sex self-explanatory naman na yan. If the score reaches 20 all, nagtabla ng all 20, then the game continues until one side gains two-point lead. Baba, di ba hanggang 21 lang naman yan? Eh, nag-all 20. Ngayon, uh, para ma-determine kung sino mananalo, dapat uh, yung, yung uh, team ay lumamang ng dalawa. Kagaya nito, 24 to 22. Okay? So, kailangan ma-reach nila dalawa. Maximum of 30 points. Okay? Ta ngayon, kung di ba, nag-all 20, kailangan ang objective nun, kung sino yung unang makalamang ng dalawang puntos, sila yung mananalo. Eh, paano, sir, kung ano, halimbawa, dikit pa rin. Halimbawa, uh, hindi pa rin lumalamang. Meron siyang, ano, meron siyang rule, no? Hanggang 30 points lang ang marireach nila kung makarating na sila ng 20. Ngayon, kung sino yung makarating ng 20, ay makarating ng 30, sila yung panalo. Katulad nito, 30-29, isa lang ang lamang. Okay? Dahil siya yung naunang makapunta ng 30 o ma ma-reach nila yung score na 30, sila yung panalo. Okay? So, yan po yung score rules natin sa badminton. Ngayon, paano ba maglaro ng badminton? So, ang objective kasi natin dito dapat ay uh, somehow matuto kayo talaga ng proper way of playing badminton. Okay? So, sa badminton, gaya ko nabanggit ko, meron tayong singles dito, meron tayong doubles. Okay? So, mag-video tayo. Ano muna ang singles? Uy, hindi tayo magbibideo kay. So, nasan dito yung sa... Ito, uh, singles muna. Video to, paano maglaro singles? In this video, you will learn the rules for singles. Singles is played between two opponents who hit the shuttle with their rackets over and across the net until it falls on the ground. The singles court includes the back tram lines and excludes the side tram lines. Each player has two service boxes. The height of the net is 5 feet or 155 centimeters. The rally starts with the service and ends when the shuttle falls on the ground or out of the singles court, 5 feet or 155 centimeters. The rally starts with the service. Pagkita nyo, uh, isa nandito sa, ano, sa right side, ito, itong, itong nakaputi na ito, yun namang black, American, yun naka-blue na shoes, 
na naka, naka sky blue. Tapos niyo itong uh, kanilang uh, yung court magkahiwalay ano magka ano sila opposite. Nandito siya sa sa left, isa naman nandito sa right. And ends when the shuttle falls on the ground or out of the singles court. A match consists of a best of 3 games of 21 points. Every time the serve is played, a point <coughs> is scored. The person who wins the rally adds a point to his score. When the game is tied at 20 points each, the person who gains a 2 point lead first wins that game. When the game is tied at 29 points each, the person who scores the 30th point wins the game. After the game is over, sides are switched and the person who has won the game serves first. In the third game, when so, a player running on, sabe kapag ka daw uh, natapos na yung first rally kasi di ba ano yan tatlong laro na race to 21 so tatlong 21 ang paglalabanan nila di ba na naka 21 na ako so mo change court tayo ngayon dahil ako yung naunang maka 21 ako yung unang magsaserve reaches 11 points sides are switched enjoy your game okay so next naman yung doubles In this video, you will learn the rules for doubles. Doubles is played between two teams of two people that hit the shuttle with their rackets over and across the net until it falls on the ground. The doubles court includes the side tram lines and excludes the back tram lines. Each player stands in their respective service boxes at the beginning. The height of the net is 5 feet or 155 centimeters at the edges. The rally starts with the service and ends when the shuttle falls on the ground on the opponent team's side or out of the doubles court. If the shuttle hits the net and falls on the same side, the opponent team scores a point. A match consists of the best of three games at 21 points. When the game is tied at 20 points each, the person who gains a two point lead first wins that game. <coughs> When the game is tied at 29 points each, the person who scores the 30th point wins that game. After the game is over, sides are switched and the person who has won the game serves first. Enjoy your game. Okay. So, yun yung singles, yun naman yung doubles. Next, badminton court. Ang badminton court ay uh, ito yan. So, meron siyang iba't ibang mga parts, no? Una, basic dyan. Oop, teka. Play lang natin. Ito, napapansin nyo to. Ito yung badminton net. Okay? So, 155 centimeters daw to. Itong net na to, no? Diba? Sabi ka sa video. 5 feet. Tama ba? 5 feet and 1 inch high. Okay? Ay, 1.55 meters pala. Okay. Next. Ito naman class yung uh, short service line. Ito, yung part na yan. Clear lang natin. Next. Ito naman yung uh, tinatawag natin singles long service line. Ito naman yung doubles long service line. So, uh, ang, ang purpose nito, kapag singles lang kayo, dito ka sa labas ng guhit magsaserve. Okay, itimin natin. Dito, dito. Ngayon, kung doubles kayo, dito. Sa labas nitong guhit na to, dito kayo magsaserve. Okay? So, ito naman yung center line natin. Okay? So, ang height nito ay 20 feet, then 6.10 meters. Itong lapad nitong puting na yan. Okay? Ito naman ay 0.76 meters or 2.5 feet. Okay? Double sideline. Ah, ito naman yung single sideline. So, ibig sabihin, class, kapag kaka-doubles kayo, ang outside niyan, dito. Gets nyo? Dito sa labas niyan, ang outside. Ngayon, ang outside naman pag singles ay dito. So, pag tumama na yan dito, automatic, out na yon. Okay? So, yun lang po. Next, badminton grips. So, sa badminton grip, meron siyang dalawa. Forehand and yung backhand grip. Uh, ano ba ang forehand grip? This grip is used to hit shots that are on the forehand side of your body. Sabihin sa harap. 
Okay? Paharap siya ang, ang ano mo. On the forehand side of your body and around the head shots. Okay? Point number two. Your racket face shall be perpendicular to the floor. Okay? So, place your playing hand on the handle as if you are shaking hands. Okay, ano kaya nang ibig sabihin niyan? Next, there shall be a V-shape in between your thumb and your index finger. Okay, ito, 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 ito yung V. Yan, o. The racket handle shall rest loosely in your finger for great flexibility. Next, ano naman ang backhand grip? Backhand grip naman, this grip is used to hit shots that are on the backhand side of your body. Okay? Hold the racket as you would on a forehand grip. Turn the racket anti-clockwise so that the V-shape moves forward. Ayan, no? Next, place your thumb against the back uh, level of the handle for greater leverage and power. The racket handle sh shall also rest loosely in your fingers. So, madali, mahirap kasi i-explain ng ganito to eh. Uh, meron naman na, pero meron naman tayong video na hinanda dyan. In this video, we're going to talk about how we're holding the forehand grip and the backhand grip. <coughs> and this is probably the first thing we need to learn when we are playing badminton. So let's start with the forehand grip. What I usually tell people when they just started playing badminton is try to grip the racket and hold it as if it was an axe, just like this, okay? So when I'm holding it like this, the racket head is just like an axe head. So I can chop stuff up. <laughs> also, I don't want to hold the grip like this and tighten it up so I have a 90 degree angle between my arm and the racket but I want to have a loose grip so I have here an angle that's <coughs> bigger than 90 degrees like this okay I am using the forehand grip whenever I play shots in the same side as I have my racket so this and this is all forehand shots. The backhand grip, we want to place our thumb on the right area of the grip, like this. So I'm holding my racket like this. I'm using this backhand grip whenever I'm hitting the shuttle on the other side of where I'm holding my racket. So, if I'm right-handed, this is my backhand. If I'm left-handed, this is my backhand. So, I know this is very, very basic, but the grip is actually the foundation <coughs> of learning to play badminton. So, actually, when I started playing badminton, I wasn't holding the right grip for three years before I began holding the right grip. So, try it at home, and it might be hard in the beginning if you are not holding the correct grip and want to adjust it but if you keep doing it you'll eventually learn it after we get the hang of holding the forehand grip and the backhand grip the next step will be to change between the forehand grip and the backhand grip we can start by taking a shuttle and just juggling with the shuttle switching between the forehand grip and the backhand grip so this becomes natural okay we don't need to uh, think how we are switching our grip so the more we practice it the less we're going to think about switching the grip and then of course we can make the exercises faster and more challenging but this is uh, this is the first step to uh, to learning how to grip
when I place the thumb on the grip and hold the racket. The backhand grip, we want to first place our thumb on the wide, <coughs> wide, wide, uh, and we want to place it on the wide area of the racket head. <laughs> <laughs> Okay na yan siguro yan, okay na siguro yan. Kasi nagkakamali siya, pakapatawa na siya eh. Okay, so, ganun yung uh, grip, ano? Forehand, then backhand grip. Next, skills and techniques. Ito yung tinatanong ko sa inyo kanina. Uh, ano ang pinagkaiba ng skills? Ano ang pinagkaiba ng techniques? Okay, so, ito yung point number one natin, 1.1. It is a action, ano yung skill ah? Skill tayo. It is an, it is a action... It is an, dapat to. It is an action that we use in an activity. Okay? Example, service, clear shot, etc. Yung technique, it is the way in which a skill is performed. Okay? So, yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. Yung skill, yung action that we use in an activity. Halimbawa na, uh, tuma tumatalon. Skill yun. Pagtalon. Okay? Ang technique, tumatalon ka ng mataas. Tumatalong ka ng patagilid. Tumatalong ka ng pabaliktad. So, ganun yung technique. So, nagagets nyo ba ibig sabihin ng skill tsaka ng technique? Pinagkaiba na dalawa. Yung skill, yun yung action. Yung uh, technique, kung paano mo gagawin yung action na ginagawa mo. Okay? So, next. Forehand and backhand, forehand and backhand shots. Ito naman, uh, kanina yung grip. Ito naman ay yung shot. Okay? All strokes can be played either forehand or backhand. Nakadepende kasi yan sa pwesto eh. Uh, Nagtitable tennis kasi ako. Uh, yung paggamit mo ng forehand shot at saka ng backhand shot ay nakadepende sa trajectory ng, ng bola or ng shuttlecock. Depende yan kung sa paano siya darating sa'yo. Okay? So sa laro, for sure, ma, ma, marirealize yun, ah, kailangan ko itong itira ng backhand. Ah, ito, kailangan kong itira to ng forehand. Okay? A player's forehand side is the same side as their playing hand. For a right-handed player, the forehand side is their right side and the backhand side is their left side. So, kung kaliwete ka, kung kaliwete ka, uh, ang, ang backhand ng kanan ay yung forehand mo. Nagagets ba? Kung halimbawa, nasa kaliwa yung raketa mo, ang backhand mo ay yung forehand ng nasa Right-handed. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? Next, players frequently play certain strokes on the forehand side with a backhand hitting action and vice versa. Next, how to find your ready position in badminton? Your position on court will vary a lot. Okay? Yung position mo daw. Will vary a lot depending on whether you are playing singles or doubles. And also, depending on the circumstances during the rally. Okay? So, yung position mo, nakadepende yan. Una, kung uh, singles ba yan o doubles. Pangalawa, kung uh, depende sa sitwasyon na nangyayari during the game. Bawa, uh, meron kayong, uh, meron kayong, uh, uh, tawag na ito, meron ginagawang technique, no? styles ng paglalaro. So, nakadepende yon. Yung stylist nyo sa paglalaro, kung doubles kayo o kung single lang, nakadepende yun sa position. Okay? Yung position pala, rather, yung position mo, nakadepende sa plano nyo sa laro. Okay? Stance. O yung pagtayo mo. You know? Your feet a little more than shoulder width apart. Okay? So medyo magkahiwalay siya ng bahagya. Okay? Ito yung paa. Hindi siya magkadikit. Okay, medyo magkihiwalay ng konti. Alam ko, maganda akong mag-drawing class. Racket carriage. Bring your racket up. Your racket should be held out in front of you. Hindi siya, lagi siyang nakaready. Ayun no, napansin nyo to. Hindi siya laging nakadown. Mali yan. Okay? Hindi yan, hindi ganyan. Dapat, ang proper niyan ay ito. Gets niyo naman tong drawing ko na to, klaso. Ayan. Di ba? Lagi siya nakaready position. Your arm, your left arm should be used to balance your right arm and racket. Okay? 
holding it in front of your body is slightly out of the side. Okay? So, yun, dahil walang hawak naman yung isa, pambalanse siya. Okay? Hindi nakalaylay lang yung isang kamay mo, tapos yung isa nakaangat. Diba? Wala yung dapat pares yung nakarele position. Ang tawag dyan, pagbabalanse. Next, serving. Uh, meron tayong tinatawag na high serve and meron tayong tinatawag na low serve. So, unahin muna natin itong high serve. No? So, ang high serve, use this badminton serve during singles play to move your opponent as far back in court. So, ang point lang, kaya ginagamit itong high serve, ang purpose nito ay yung kalaban mo mapunta dito sa likod. Di ba kasi kanari, kung nandito ka, kung nandito ka, ang purpose mo, kung nandito siya, kung nandito siya class, ang purpose mo, papunta siya dito. Nagigets? Para mapunta siya dito. Kasi, kung hahayaan mo lang siya na nandito, halimbawa, sinerve mo. Tapos, nandito yung kalaban mo. Okay? May daladala siyang magandang raketa. Iyon. No? Kung pag-serve mo, ay tumama agad siya dyan, ang tendency, i-spash niya yan, papunta dito. Diba? Ganun lang naman yung logic nun eh. So, para maiwasan yan, para maiwasan yan, yung service mo, iahay mo. Okay? Pa ang palo ng raketa mo yan, ay, ito yung hand, ito yung grip mo yan eh, para mas maintindihan nyo siya, no? Ito yung, rake ito yung raketa, ang grip niyan ay, ito, nandito sa taas. Paangat, papunta dun. Papaluin mo siya, pa ganun. Gigets nyo? Ito yung handle mo niyan, ano? So, papaloy mo siya pag ganun para umangat yung bolang malayo ganun. Para yung, yung player, hahabulin niya ngayon yan. Tsaka niya, papaluin uli ng malayo yan. Okay? So, ang purpose niyan, para luma lumayo siya doon sa center line natin. Okay? Next, low serve. Use this badminton serve when you want your opponent to lift the shuttle. Okay? <coughs> Uh, it is commonly used during doubles, but you can use it during singles too. If your opponent's attack is too strong, you can use either forehand or backhand to play this serve. Ang purpose lang itong low serve na to, para maghabul siya. Halimbawa na, ito kasi mataas eh. Ito naman ay mababa, kaya nga low and high serve. Yung low serve, kung itong high serve, para mapunta mo yung kalaman mo dito, ito naman kung halimbawa, uh, nandito siya. Halimbawa, nasa center lang siya. Nag-low serve ka, sinerve mo. Pinalo mo pa ganun. Mababa lang. Ang gagawin niyan, hindi niya kasi pwedeng paluin yan pa ganun eh. Kasi mababa siya eh. Gets nyo, class? Ulit. Kung nandito ka, tapos nandito yung kalaban mo, nilow serve mo. Ang tendency niyan, hindi niya pwedeng paluin yan pa ganun. Okay? Yung raketa niya, hindi niya pwedeng paluin. Kasi mababa eh. Ang, ten ang tendency niya, papaluin niya yan, paangat, pababa. Pa ganun ang dali niya dyan, ano? Yung, ito, ito, yung rake, ito yung shuttlecock mo Ito yung shuttlecock Papunta dito Ang gagawin ng raketa na yan Iaangat niya yan Diba? Iaangat niya pa ganun So ang tama niyan Pag palobo Okay? Aangat siyang yung shuttlecock na yan So ang tendency mo naman Tendency mo niya class I-smash mo na ngayon yan Diba? I-smash mo na nga siya ngayon Score na yun Score So, yun ang purpose niyang low, high serve and low serve. Okay, sana naiintindihan niyo siya. Next, forehand and backhand service. Okay, ito na naituro naman na sa inyo to kanina dun sa video, di ba? Ah, ito may video naman tayo diyan. Uh, how to serve badminton forehand and backhand. Hay, wait lang. Basahin natin para mas malinaw. Forehand and backhand service. Okay? Uh, by the way, ito nga pala ay isisend ko rin sa inyo. Okay, isisend ko to sa inyo. Uh, ito, forehand. Ito naman ay yung backhand. Stands 2-3 feet behind the short service line. Okay? Forehand yan. Yan, pag ganun. Papalo na ganyan. Ito naman, backhand. Pag ganun din naman siya. Para sa mga paangat yan. Kaya lang ito, mapapansin nyo. Pag ganito yung raketa niya, no? pait siya na ganun. Ito naman, ito yung rakita niya, paangat naman na ganun. Okay? So, ayan o. No? Pansinin niya naman yung, yung image natin dito. Tsaka image natin dito. 
So, ito yung shuttlecock. Papaloy niya yung paganon. So, angat yan na ganyan. Okay? So, mas maganda siguro ito. Angat yan pa ganun. No? Tapos, ito naman, pag, pag ganun din naman, kaya lang iba yung way niya. Pa backhand. Okay? So, sabi dito, bring your racket to your waist level, then starts your following swing. Uh, isasend ko na lang ito sa inyo, kasi medyo ang dami niya. Uh, limited lang yung oras ko sa video. Uh, ito na lang yung video. Para mas madaling siya mainan ko. And today we're going to have a look at the different types of serves in badminton. With me is Team Singapore's Joel Cole and Justin Quinn. So, guys, what are the types of serves in badminton and what do you need to look out for? Uh, there are two types of uh, serves. So, uh, the first type is the point serve. There are three types of point serve. The first one is a high serve, then low serve and fixed serve. The main idea behind a high serve is because normally a uh, woman are not so strong. So if you serve all the way to the back, the girl might not be able to keep it in yeah, that's the uh, First of all, the other position is like this. So the left leg will be facing forward, the right leg will be facing that side. That, that works. So uh, the main idea is to serve and bring your kick forward so that your racket can swing forward. So if you just serve like this, you won't be enough strength and the angle, the shuttle will be reached as far as so, yeah, so to your left hand, you just drop the shuttle instead of throwing outwards. Yeah, so it will be like one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Because now that you ever drop, then you hit already. Okay, so let's put that drop. Okay, you're going up. And then, so, you just this. Okay. One, then you go. Ah, yeah. Got it, the last one? Okay. Okay, so Joel, maybe you can tell us a bit more about the backhand serve. Uh, there's two types of serve in the backhand serve. One is the low serve, one is the quick serve. The low serve is to be to start the rally in control, so you don't so you start off as a having an advantage over your opponent. While the quick serve is to catch your opponent off guard. So for the backhand serve, you don't put your hand too close to your body or too far, like just in the middle. And then the shuttle will bend. Or many, like, the leg must be in front. So for me, it's my right leg. So my right leg will be in front, and my left leg will be facing the left hand side. Okay. And then you just use your thumb to push it. So you can see your elbow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. not too close to the body. Yeah. This way, yeah. just don't, don't bend too straight. Don't bend too straight. Just bend a bit. And, and the emphasis is actually dropping on the ball is the same thing as on the left side. Yeah. Oh, no, you're just it's holding, like holding lightly. Like and then your racket is really good. So when you, uh, and then when you when you want to hit, uh, you just you just fight me, you just push for yeah. Thank you so much for the tips guys. Um and if you enjoyed what Okay. So next Badminton clear shot. So, sa badminton clear shot, meron tayong tinata meron dalawang uri yan. Okay? Number one, yung defensive defensive clear, then attacking clear. Okay? So, ano ang defensive clear? Basically, to defend. Okay? Has a high aim deep trajectory. So, sa defensive clear, ito yung, ito yung, uh, ito yung tumira niyan. Ito yung, uh, ta yun yung, yung rakita niya nandito, pwedeng pa ganun yan or pwede rin paangat. Pwede yan, kahit pa, pa backhand o forehand, depende sa pwesto mo. So, ang gagawin yan, ititira mo ng pataas para pumunta siya dito. Same, ganun ang tendency para habulin niya. Kasi kung mataas yan at malayo, hindi niya basa-basa may i-smash. Okay? So, dinedepensahan mo yan. Ngayon, itong attack naman, ang pasin mo, ito, mataas. Ito naman, yung at sa attack naman, Medyo derecho. No? So, ang purpose niyan ay uh, uh, mahirapan i-receive noong kalaban mo. Okay? <clears throat> so, ganyan yung defensive and clear. Uh, uh, defensive, clear, and attacking clear. Okay? So, ang dali lang naman intindihan niyan eh. Defensive, ang purpose para uh, lumayo yung kalaban dito sa dulo. Pumunta siya dito. Ngayon, Uh, ang ang ang, ma, ang mahirap lang diyan class kung ma-outside. 
Okay, dahil mas nasobra ka na outside. Pero kung kontrolado mo yan, ang pinakamagagaling na gumagawa niya, yung tipong mala- edge na edge na, pero inside pa rin. Di ba? Next, yung attacking clear naman, yung attacking clear ay ito. Para mahirapan din siya kuha. Kaya lang, pa, ang, ang mahirap lang din dyan, kung ma-block niya. Dahil malakas yung pagkaka uh, palo mo dyan, pag-diretso siya, pag na-block siya, mas din ang balik. Pwede mo na yan sa'yo. Ma-score ma- ng kalaban. Badminton drop shot. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag dito na slow drop and fast drop. Okay? So, ang slow drop ay uh, ganito lang siya. Oh. Uh, the point of impact is above the racket shoulder. It is intended to move your opponent the front court, hopefully forcing a weak return to your mid court for you to kill. So, i- i-drop mo lang siya dito malapit sa net. Ngayon, nahahabulin niya ngayon yan. Alam mo, nahahabulin niya. Tirahin na pataas yan. So, ikaw naman, meron kang chance na isma siya. Okay, yung fast drop naman, hit the shuttle slightly f- further in front of the body to produce a sh- shallower trajectory at a fast speed. It is intended to catch your opponents of balance. Halimbawa, um, ginagawa kasi itong slow drop class. Kung <coughs> itong slow drop, lalo class kung ito ay uh, mala- nandito yung kalaban mo. Medyo malayo siya dun sa net. So, i-slow drop mo siya i-slow drop mo siya para mahirap ang habulin. Ito namang fast drop class kung malapit siya. Kung malapit siya sa net, syempre pag binagala mo yan, maaari receive niya. Diba? Pero kung ifa-fast drop mo siya kahit malapit siya dyan, hindi, may possibility na hindi niya yun makuha para maka-score ka. Okay? So, dyan po nagtatapos ang ating discussion sa badminton. Muna. <coughs>